Treatment of aortic aneurysm and an aortic insufficiency with simultaneous reconstruction of the aortic valve by Jakob. When the aorta root is dilated, the valve leaflets are separated from each other, resulting in an insufficiency or blood reflux back to the left ventricle. Reconstruction of the aortic valve are mainly performed under a non-beating heart. Surgical access is performed beforehand and then the patient is connected to the heart and lung machine. The median sternotomy is the classical approach. For this purpose, the sternum is opened lengthwise using a saw. The heart and lung machine is connected to the aorta by means of a cannula which delivers oxygen-enriched blood to the body. The right atrium is also cannulated. When the patient is placed on the heart and lung machine, a clamp is placed under a controlled conditions on the aorta and a solution rich in potassium is placed directly in the coronary vessels, which stops the heart. Thereafter, the surgeon resects the aortic root and the tissue of the area in the commissures. The valve leaflets, as well as the coronary arteries, are left standing. From the aortic prosthesis, an aortic root is molded and the paracommissural tissue is sewn with three sutures. These sutures are drawn through the prosthesis. Thus, the resected margins of the aorta and the prosthesis match each other. In the end, the prosthesis is sewn over the entire circumference. Since the prosthesis diameter is smaller than that of the resected aortic root, the flat pockets are closer to each other and the leaflets are competent. After reconstruction is complete, the temporary pace wires are sewn to the heart and two to three thorax drainages are placed in the chest. The wound tubes are removed on the second and the pacemaker cable on the fifth day after surgery. The aortic cross clamp is opened which perfuses the heart with warm blood removing the effects of the cardioplegic solution. Cardiac activity is restored, allowing the termination of cardiopulmonary bypass. The sternum is then closed with sternal wires and the surgical wound with sutures. After surgery, the patient is transferred to the ICU.